somebody come see and make sure that there's that bitch is not in my house. In a marriage, I lean on you, you lean on me. That's a partnership, that's a marriage. Okay, no one's listening to me. No, no, I'm listening. Lisa Hochstein from Real Housewives of Miami shares a video of herself confronting her estranged husband, Lenny Hochstein, at a Miami nightclub. Lenny's girlfriend, Katerina, reportedly licked lips during a tearful confrontation over destroying her family, while the mother-in-law calls the model disgusting and evil, according to Lisa Hochstein. My mother-in-law said she saw the driver pull in because she was parked outside of the house and there was a girl in the back of our car. What precisely happened at that nightclub? What drama is left to unfold at this point? Want more of the juiciest rumors about your favorite stars? For all types of celebrity news and pop culture, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications for Celebrity Pop. In April, Florida cosmetic surgeon Lenny Hochstein, Lisa Hochstein's husband of 13 years, informed her that he was seeking a divorce. On December 30th, the 40-year-old Real Housewives of Miami actress shared a video on her Instagram story by reposting it from the Real Housewives of Miami Peacock account. Lenny Hochstein and his girlfriend Katarina Mazepa were the targets of Lisa Hochstein's confrontation with them in a video she posted online. The Real Housewives of Miami actress is seen in the video ambushing the cosmetic surgeon and Katarina Mazepa with her smartphone and flashlight to catch them red-handed during Mother's Day weekend. The video was released to her Instagram story early on Friday. Worst of all, Mazepa seductively licks her lips while staring at the camera as Lisa approaches Lenny. All that can be made out in the video due to the volume of the club is the self-described boob god asking, What are you doing, Lisa? <laughs> the club showdown, which occurred in early May during the Formula One Miami Grand Prix, was first reported by Page Six. This sparked instant rumors that the Hochsteins were ending their 12-year marriage. A source told Page Six they were all present and they did have words. Someone threw a drink. A second source said that Lenny entered the fight with his new girlfriend and there was a showdown this past weekend at Gala Miami. On the most recent episode of The Real Housewives of Miami, Lisa Hochstein reflected on a terrible encounter with her divorced husband, Lenny Hochstein, and his girlfriend, Katarina Mazepa. Lisa stated that she ran into Lenny and the 27-year-old model while attending a Formula One event with Larsa Pippen, who ridiculed her when she questioned her about their alleged romance. Lisa and Marina Hochstein, Lenny's mother, had lunch with Lisa to discuss her breakup with the 56-year-old plastic surgeon. I ran into him at Formula One, turned around, held the girl's hand and didn't give a damn. Can you stop this? I asked. Would you kindly leave? No, I'm not going, he responded, Lisa remarked to Marina. The situation deteriorated further when Lisa turned to Katerina. I approached the girl and questioned why she was acting this way. Why are you so wicked? Why are you such a disaster in my house? Why are you killing out my family? Lenny then showed no concern. When she touched his back, it felt like I snapped. I snapped. I was in tears. I was trembling, Lisa said. That's repulsive. Oh my God, echoed Marina. She's what type of woman? She's wicked. Marina expressed she's very sorry for Lisa's suffering and her suspicion that Lenny was experiencing a midlife crisis. He drastically altered. I don't know that guy, she said. Lisa sobbed as the action went on. What can my heart withstand? Being a single mother is something that scares me. In addition, Marina, I'm devastated. The youngsters are very young, she sobbed. They're just two and six years old. I don't know what we should do. You've got this. You have my utmost unwavering support, Marina said. I'll assist you in every way I can. Lisa expressed her opinions on the situation in a confessional, adding, this is humiliating. When you're a prominent figure, going this far and acting publicly, throwing it in my face and parading it around the city is unacceptable. You should not appear in the media. My children shouldn't see this, please. Meanwhile, Larsa provided her version of the encounter while having lunch with Alexia Echevarria and Mary Sol Patton, two other Real Housewives of Miami cast members. Last weekend, Lisa and I went out. After we got to the gala, I turned around and saw Lenny walking away with the girl. And shortly after that, I had the sensation of a heart attack. I started texting Lisa, wondering where she was. She refers to the bathroom as the stall. As soon as I started thinking, I thought, oh my God, is she going to run into him? She likely came upon them when they were recording each other holding hands. According to what she heard, she started crying and fled after he left. Larsa said that Lenny had gifted her with a $100,000 watch and a ton of bags after she had previously referred to Katarina as crazy for posting a snapshot of the jewelry on her Instagram story. Lenny lied to Page Six when a reporter inquired about the incident and whether or not there were any prospects for a divorce. 
But a week later, the doctor came clean and said that he and the reality star would split up. He tried to explain away his lies by saying, A few weeks ago, I denied this because I'm doing my best to protect my family throughout this process. We're going through a tough period, and I want some privacy so we can better care for our children, who are everything to us. The former couple wed in October 2009, and they have two children via surrogate, a girl, L, 3, and a boy, Logan, 7. Viewers saw Lisa and Lenny's fertility struggles throughout The Real Housewives of Miami's first run. Lisa said that the couple almost ended their relationship during the break from the program when the restored series returned to Peacock in December 2021. Despite Lenny's claims that he wanted to take care of their children, the housewife has since claimed that he cut her off financially, making it difficult for her to purchase diapers and food for them. Because we were having a really hard time, you know, conceiving a child. In the five months following their traditional Halloween celebration, Lenny filed for divorce from Lisa, whom he had been married to for the previous 12 years. As soon as Page Six published an article claiming that Lisa, star of The Real Housewives of Miami, had contacted Lenny while he was partying with his current girlfriend, Katerina Mazeppa, Lenny attempted to split up with his wife. We heard that a drink was tossed during the smackdown at the nightclub that led to adultery claims. This was the tale circulating at the time, and it was what we heard happened. Lisa's upset because the well-known cosmetic surgeon hasn't paid her for many months already. She alleges that since Lenny had refused her access to all vehicles, she was compelled to take their children trick-or-treating in an Uber while he was hosting a $100,000 Halloween party. She says this happened because Lenny had denied her access to all autos. Lenny responded by saying Lisa bought fancy clothing for $9,000 a week. Notedly, Lisa has petitioned the court requesting that Lenny be ordered to maintain his fair financial status quo, giving her interim help and pay her legal bills. Page Six attempted to acquire a statement from Lenny's attorney on the dismissal of his complaint, but they did not immediately get a response to their inquiry. According to Lenny, the housewife on the Peacock program made $30,000 for each episode she appeared on. Lenny said that Lisa would be required to vacate the home they shared within 30 days of the divorce petition being submitted or upon the divorce being completed, whichever comes first. He also asserts that $455,000 was spent on Lisa and the children. Lisa, who's in financial hardship, feels her concerns have fallen on deaf ears. Lenny, she claims, gets annoyed and responds to her in a condescending tone when she tries to engage him in conversation. She told the cameras during the season 4 opener, It was horrible that we nearly divorced. Lenny had this emotional relationship with some $2 hoe throughout this separation. The choice to apologize and return was the finest of his life. The fifth season of the reality series, which debuted on December 8th, has documented the estranged couple's breakup. Honestly, we were only separated for probably a month and a half, so it wasn't that long. Lenny abruptly revealed his intention to leave Lisa to his buddy Vito while being recorded on a hot mic. When Vito informed the doctor he had just broken up, and he said, I could be single, too, in a few months, Lenny said, all the time, when Vito questioned how often the pair discussed getting a divorce. Lenny joked, I do, in response to Vito saying he didn't want the pair to break up. Several of Lisa's Real Housewives of Miami castmates discussed the separation with Us Weekly before the season 5 debut. Nicole Martin exclusively told Us Weekly earlier this month, I just felt they were in like just a little bit of a rut, but I was optimistic and hoped that they would bounce back. Therefore, I was astonished that it came to this. All of that, the divorce, the girlfriend and everything else, completely surprised us. For her part, Adriana de Mora said she was blindsided by the news of the breakup. The Brazilian native, 57 years old at the time, shared with us, When you are engaged with two young children, and for the long term, you'll have some challenging times here and there. I'm not saying that marriages don't have their ups and downs. They do. Nevertheless, I was caught off by the breakup. In her first in-depth interview on the breakup since the news broke, The Real Housewives of Miami actress tells people exclusively in this week's issue, It was a dagger to the heart. I didn't see it was coming at all. Yet my life altered utterly in the span of a blink of an eye. Lisa Hochstein is now moving on with her life after finalizing the divorce from her ex-husband Lenny, and she has no intention of changing her mind. She claims that the divorce drama she and Lenny Hochstein are experiencing is far more severe than they bargained for. She unintentionally disclosed they had avoided discussing child support or custody of the kids. Although the divorce is still pending in court, viewers are now able to follow its progress on the Peacock series. On Peacock, new episodes of The Real Housewives of Miami Season 5 go live on Thursdays. Do you now support Lisa or Lenny after learning about this new, fascinating issue? Tell us in the comments, and for all types of celebrity news and pop culture, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications for Celebrity Pop.